Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video. So, I haven't done one of these in a little minute and actually the lip swatch, I feel like I'm literally singing the same tune that I keep singing, but I'm gonna just finish my sentence. I told you guys I was gonna do this, never did it, found it again and realized, hey, I should do it. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing it on the, I already took them out their packaging, but it's the Urban Decay Vice Lip Chemistry Lasting Glassy Tint. It says, your lips but better the custom color changes based on your undertone high gloss finish doesn't transfer it's lasting and lips feel plumped with moisture it's a vegan formula so i'm wondering if this lip swatch video is even going to be helpful because if it says it has a custom color like it changes based on your undertone i don't know but i'm still going to do it so i think it'll be fun and i definitely want to try them out and i actually like doing lip swatch videos i already laid them all out from light to dark as best as i could so we're going to start with the lightest shade this one is called low key this is what it looks like it has the letters that spell out vice across the bottom of the packaging and then the applicator looks like this kind of looks like a concealer it kind of looks like to me that the formula might be starting to change there's like little water condensation in it i don't know but we're gonna hope that they still are gonna work fine i haven't had them that long like i feel like i had them since about august or july and it's now november so it shouldn't be turned there are six months before they start turning so it hasn't been six months but either way I'm gonna try this on it's the lightest shade it still smell all right so I mean it barely even looks like there's any color especially on my top lip which is darker than my bottom lip looks like I just have on like a really soft like maybe a little bit of a pinkish lip balm is almost what it looks like it's really pretty definitely not what I expected it's actually really cute with the makeup look I have now I might just go with this shade depending on how the other ones look this is what low-key looks like it is super low-key <laughs> so I'm liking this one you know what let me pull up on the website what each one is described as so I can kind of say that as the same at the same time okay so this is described as a pink nude definitely I would describe it as like that pinky nudish kind of shade and nude meaning like it isn't like super in your face I wouldn't say nude in a sense that it looks like like brown nude it's definitely not that but it does look like a really pretty like light pink flush of color on the lips is super cute I really like this one all right so the next one is called saucy and it's described as a medium peach so this is saucy so this one now that it's adjusted it does take a few like seconds after you apply it to adjust it does look more on the peachy side when I first applied it it did look like a baby all pink but I actually really like this color as well this one looks really good with this makeup look too I don't know so far I'm feeling like are they worth $22 I don't know it's such a light color I'm not quite sure like it's a very light look if that's what you're looking for and you don't own a lot of makeup and you just want something that looks very like natural and glossy just really pretty then this definitely is your go-to if you have a whole lot of makeup I just don't see this being like you know super amazing but it is really pretty and I would wear it okay so the next one is the shade heavy and it is described as a pale nude they all look the exact same when I first apply them it's so it's really strange formula so even though these have like a glossy feel they're not sticky at all so almost like you apply like a oil or something that's what it feels like when you rub your lips together so it's adjusting down it's not as pink as the other two like it's not pink or it's not peach it's almost like it's like that neutral lip color pale nude though I don't know if I would describe it as that but it's a, it's a pretty color so the three that I've already tried it's not like a super huge difference between the three you know they all kind of look the same the first three I mean you have to have a really keen eye for makeup and undertones to notice the difference so you would be fine choosing either one of those three for this kind of lip look but yeah those are the first three I actually really like the way it feels and the formula of it and the look it just seems kind of high priced though that's the only thing okay so the next one is physique this one is described as a terracotta nude but based on like this little swatch down here I thought it was gonna be orange but I don't know we'll see <laughs> these are also like 
like pretty foolproof like you can swipe these on in like two little swipes and be out the door so that's a really good thing about these as well this one is like the darkest nude that I've tried on of the lip colors another pretty color this one looks more like that traditional lip tint that I would see companies that sell lip tints like that candy red almost like that light candy red that they use a lot for those lip tints so that's what it kind of reminds me of on this one All right so this one is called pink slip and this one is described as a mauve nude pink okay so they're kind of all starting to look alike to me <laughs> but another I mean they're all pretty it's not saying that one is prettier than the other they kind of are starting to look a whole lot alike to me okay so this next one is called love child and it's a medium rose so I actually think this one does give me that rose pink feel it's very close to the description of the name not to say the other ones aren't I'm just saying this one definitely looks like a rose color I think it's the pinkest one that I've tried so far it's a really nice shade kind of reminds me of the other one that I tried on that was more that lip tint kind of look like the traditional lip tints that you will see this one gives me that same vibe right this next one is called stacked and this one is a warm mauve what does that mean? <laughs> All right, so I don't have much to say about this because honestly, you guys, this looks just like the other one to me. I mean, it may be slightly different, but it looks very similar. So this is stacked. And I guess now I'm gonna move on to the next shade. Not to say it's a bad color. I just feel like it just looks the same as the previous one. What was the previous one called? It was the Love Child. So this next one is called Street. And I'm assuming this one is gonna be like a coral or something just by the way that this this looks let me find it okay yeah it is a coral pink at this point I kind of feel like I could keep one of the last eight that I've tried on and I feel like I would get a very similar color like all the ones that I tried on up until now I don't know if it's because that they give you a custom color and it kind of just formulates to your color I don't know all of them are kind of going to pull more towards the undertone of like what is described as so for example the one that I have on now it's described as a coral pink I'm assuming it's not gonna look that much different than the other ones it's just if you prefer something that's more on the coral side then you should try this one because when it custom when it goes when it I don't even know how to say it when it customizes itself to your lip then it will pull more on the coral side but honestly all eight of the ones that I've tried on they look very very similar I probably would end up just keeping one and I will satisfy this same look you know what I mean so this is the shade streak and I actually don't even think this one is even pulling up coral it seems more just a normal paint these are pretty shades don't get me wrong I'm just solely talking about the fact that it isn't much difference between each color that I'm trying on especially pretty if you are a light makeup wearer even if you wear a full face of makeup like me but if you are a light makeup wearer and you want something easy to apply glossy if you like a glossy finish and looks like your lips but better this is perfect so the next shade is called third base and we're getting into I think like the okay so I just like got stopped in my tracks because this one is described as a medium rose and that's the same thing that love child is described as so I don't know if these are gonna look any different from each other or if that was a mistake or something I don't know but I was assuming that this one was gonna pull more like that dark red color but let's see okay so this one does look from memory now I've tried on like 10 at this point but from memory it kind of looks very similar to the love child shade that I was just mentioning except it does seem like it's a bit darker I like this shade too like a little flushed lip I don't even know if that's a term I know flushed cheeks but just imagine flushed cheeks on lips <laughs> this kind of gives me that vibe I actually like this one a lot so this is another one that I like now I feel like my lips are getting stained but I don't think that's making any bit of a difference with the lip colors so all right this next one is 21 and it's described as a cool red so let's see I'm 
really happy to try this. You guys know I love red lipstick. I'm probably gonna wear a red tonight. I was gonna wear one of these nude shades, but now that I done put on all these lip colors, now I'm feeling like I need to go bold, you know? Oh yeah, this one. This one is bomb before it even start customizing. Now, when I sit down to uh, edit this video, I'm gonna cut out all the time in between me applying and then start talking. But I am waiting a few seconds after I apply it for it to adjust, just so that I can see the true color and stuff like that. Because it definitely is changing from when I first apply it to when I start talking to you guys. Now, this is the bomb. Love this one, of course. This makes my teeth look so white, <laughs> which is a cool red. And I've told you guys in the past, like reds that have more of like a blue undertone on the cool side will make your teeth look like icy white. Now that one really stained. <laughs> All right, so this next one is called Sideways and I think I'm moving more into the browns. And this is described as a medium brown. Let's hope we can get a true color even though my lips are stained. Okay, so medium brown where? <laughs> This thing's really dark. Like, this ain't no medium brown. But no, it's actually really pretty. I just was not expecting this to be, like, dark like this. But, you know, it's cute, though. And you can kind of see the true color. I mean, it just wouldn't have, like, this redness to it. <laughs> I'm assuming that's just mostly the stainedness of my lips. So, this is what this color looks like. It's really pretty, though. I really like this one, too. I think that's, like, a trend with my lips swatches i like when we get into the reds and the dark shades <laughs> i don't know about this y'all okay we got one more to go so hopefully it don't get worse okay so this last one is called overload and this one is described as a warm brown and this one is going to be darker than the last one so just keep that in mind even though it says warm brown so this one almost looks black to me. Of course it's not black, it's just a really dark brown, but I can see somebody mistaking this for like thinking you have on black lipstick. Not in a bad way. That's all the lip colors that me change into another lip. I think I'm actually gonna have to put on a liquid lipstick to hide my lips. I'm really scared to take this off because I feel like this stain too hard. It look like I got on lipstick and I don't. This is not okay. <laughs> Let me throw on a liquid lipstick to try to hide it. All right, folks, I was able to cover it. I used the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Melonade, if you are curious. But uh, yeah, that's the end of this lip swatch video. Let me know which one, I don't even know if I should even ask it. Let me know which ones are your favorite when they, most of the first like 10 looked kind of the same. But still, let me know which ones you guys like the best. And if you plan on trying these lip colors, it's like a running errands or to work or even to like the, even the darker shades I feel like you could wear those to Thanksgiving depending on what you celebrate anything that you celebrate through this holiday season but on the downside number one I kind of think they're a little bit overpriced and two they do stain kind of bad <laughs> so those are two things to kind of keep in mind if you guys want to check these out I will have the links to these lip colors just in case down in the description box where you guys can check it out let me know what you guys think again down in the comments about this video and make sure that you subscribe and I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. I almost forgot what to say. <laughs> and I say it every freaking video. <laughs> what is wrong with me?